Now let's talk about commands. Commands are a deep topic. Remember, you should not start with commands. You should start with just mediators calling methods on models. Okay, that's really what you should start with. You should refactor to commands, okay? Commands help in a multi-team environment because that way you can have that. But there's a lot of people who say, look, dude, good methods, good APIs on my models negate the need for commands. Okay. The problem is once you get into command hell, aka multiple command files, it's very difficult to get yourself out. It's also very difficult as an architect when I have multiple teams creating commands with similar values. The whole point was for dry. Really hard to mitigate that as well. So you're encouraged to reassess your API of the model first if you can. If it's an application specific thing, not a business, then it's okay. Okay, just be aware once you get command land, hard to get out. Command pattern. It's the command pattern. The original idea for the command pattern was to, to execute something and then to undo it. We're just interested in executing for now, okay? But the point is, is that we have a command that executes something. Most commands are a response to an event, right? So rather than a controller class that executes a method, commands are actually just a function on that controller class. That you just rip out that function, put it here and say, all right, when you launch, if you need any data, get it from this event, okay? And then when you're done, go away. Let the garbage collector eat you. That's really what the command pattern is from a robot likes perspective. It does controller work. That's all it is, all the controller stuff. It just so happens to be in an execute function. The point of it was dry. Don't repeat yourself. As soon as you find yourself doing some weird variable massaging from a variety of models to call a method on another model, and another mediator does the same thing, that's where you want to take that and say, all right, just dispatch this event, this command will handle it. Or if you like the Robert Pinner's way, instead of creating a command, you can create a controller class and have that command deal with multiple models and handle that. Okay, it's another option. The point is you're supposed to refactor commands. You're not supposed to start a commands. Okay, refactor to them because you can't refactor out of them. It doesn't listen to framework events, but it does dispatch them. Okay. Most commands are user gesture based, usually. They could be uh, when someone logs in or logs out, multiple people, you know, you need to update multiple models. Commands are great for that kind of stuff because they can have multiple model dependencies and they can deal with all those and then go away. So it's readable code. There's nothing wrong with 30 lines of code that are readable. Good stuff, man. Versus a gigantic controller class. Adding tags, saving the user, whatever. That's you know usually what they're for, okay? When, you, when you're dealing with more than one model. So the pros, again, are they are dry. They don't repeat yourself. Assuming you have a good architect and a team that communicates. And you're not under the same deadline. You don't have 50 billion commands. Uh, they do centralize the logic, right? It's all right there, right? If you're dealing with multiple models, it's right there. It's all centralized. We know where it is. If we want to know where the user logs in and what the logic is and who needs to be updated, go look at the commands. They're all right there, right? The data problem, um, if you're not using async commands, you have two places to look, right? Is it in the service or is it in the command? Where am I updating my data in the service or command? So that kind of gets tricky. Um, not hunting through mediators. If I want to know where you save the user, I don't have to find which mediator in view saves the freaking user. I just go to the command, right? So that's another pro that commands have. And it's rapid. Everyone can deal with their particular user gestures on their particular domain of interest in those particular commands, right? The cons, code bloat early in the project. If you're not dry, you don't want to create a user logged in command. Just call it from the mediator. Call the method on the model. Call it a day, right? There's nothing wrong with putting slash slash fix me. You know, you do have time to get to those. If you don't, fine. But obviously, early on, you're going to see the dry. You're going to fix those broken windows when you come to a pro pragmatic programmer. Name drop. Handling context sensitive data. Sometimes, if you're doing asynchronous commands, you're going to have two commands. It's not good. Sometimes it's accidental. Sometimes it's on purpose because you didn't know about async command, right? This becomes a problem when you have 20 user gestures at some 40 commands. Now, obviously, it's easily fixed. You can use a control class or using commands, but it's something to be aware of. That just, I've seen this happen by accident a lot. It's gross. Uh, commands for everything. Some people say, oh, I just I don't know what a controller class is, and I don't want 500 lines of code in my controller class, so I just made a bunch of commands. It's like, okay. Sometimes better model APIs can help this. So, command requirements. You only have one thing. You have to have an execute method. You have to follow orders. That's it. A command will get the event that dispatched it. It'll be instantiated right up there. This that event, you can it'll be passed in the execute method, and you can do whatever you want. Okay, so you can get all the context you need to run it, or you can reference your models on a global right until I get dependency injection in there. That's it. That's all you have to do for commands.